And joining us now, we're honored to have Christopher and Laura Dawkins here, Brooke's parents, and her legacy lives on, and I'm sure that's somewhat comforting for you, and, and I'm sure you miss her every day, but what is it that you really want people to know about organ donation? I, I think um, most importantly is, first of all, you know, register. It it's, can save lives, um, but more importantly, let your family know that that is your wishes. For our family, we knew Brooke had registered and had expressed that to us, so it was an easy decision mm -hmm. to make at that time. So I think most importantly, register and let your loved ones know. And I see your shirt, brookstrong.org. Tell us about mm -hmm. that. Um, well, after Brooke passed, we started a foundation, and the mission of that foundation is to spread the word of organ donation and talk to people and make sure that they understand how valuable organ donation is and how it can save up to five lives and more importantly it can save a life and for every person they know someone that to save a life can be someone very important to you. It's been amazing to hear about Brooke's story and how many lives she was able to touch. Tell us about how you met some of the people whose lives were impacted by her gift. Yeah, so the, the first recipient we got to meet was Carol Wright. Uh, she was a mother of four, a grandmother of one that lived in Wisconsin. Mm. So Brooks Hart actually flew from Orlando Regional here locally to Wisconsin. And we were able to meet her uh, about a year after the transplant, mm. um, which was very rewarding. And then we have also met Kate. Uh, she lives in Rhode Island. She was a, a young girl who needed a pancreas and a kidney. She had been on dialysis because of diabetes, and she's no longer diabetes. She's diabetes free, and wow. we, we see her family uh, at least once a year, and stay in touch with Carol as well. That's How beautiful. does that bring you comfort meeting these people who have their lives back because of Brooke? Well, I think when I look at their families and I realize the gift that the organs were able to give and the gift of life for them, and when I look at especially when I look at uh, Kate's father and I see you know, his eyes don't exactly look like my eyes. He has a lot of joy in his eyes to still have his daughter. He is mm -hmm. very, very happy. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, having gone through what we went through as a family, mm -hmm. I mean, you really want to do anything you can to prevent someone else from doing that. I mean, it's a, it's a really horrible experience, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, through organ donation, you can prevent someone else from having to go through that and to see their family enjoying life. And their, it's a wonderful thing. And you mentioned making sure your family knows. Does that come into play sometimes where there can be, you know, a struggle to make that gift if, say, you wanted to give your organs but your family didn't know and you made that designation? Well, yes, obviously. At, at, at the end, when that time comes, uh, you, you know, they'll come to the family and they'll talk to the family mm -hmm. about it. And that's not a time that you really mm -hmm. are in the best mental condition to be making decisions like that. So if you haven't thought about it before then, if you haven't had that, that talk with your family, and it's, it's not a talk about death, it's a talk about life. It's a talk mm -hmm. about continuing life for somebody else. And so for your family to know that at that time, mm -hmm. it's a very easy decision. I couldn't imagine all the decisions, you know, things going through your mind, that's the last thing is to try to make that decision at that point in time. Right, right. So we can get to your website and work on ways to get that done and, and have that conversation early and get that word right. out early. Yeah. Through, you can research, research it through Brooke Strong and then of course through Donate Life America and then here locally there's an organization, Trans Life, that um, handles the, the organ uh, recovery here and helps people so there's a lot of resources out there but I just think it's important that people have that discussion and discussion mm -hmm. about life and continuing life for somebody else it is and thank you so much for being yeah. here yeah. and sharing Brooke's story yeah. with us and so to. important starting a lot of good conversations this yeah. weekend yeah. and we'll of course put all this on clickorlando.com as well